Hi, I'm Miss Lane Hart, your art teacher, and I've been your art teacher before if you've been in the Juno schools. If you're a fourth grader, you might remember that last year I brought some bright colored strips of paper to your classroom and you invented a code or a pattern and then wove it as a paper weaving. If you're a fifth grader, you might remember that I brought clay and we made clay faces with really fun expressions on them. I'm an art teacher, but I'm also an artist. And as an artist, I really love using a sketchbook and drawing things that I see. Most of the drawings in my sketchbook are a kind of drawing we call drawing from observation. When we draw from observation, we look at an object really closely and we draw what we see. This kind of drawing helps me notice things I've never seen before. When we draw from observation, we can use this drawing cycle to help us remember the steps. Step number one, observe, look closely at your object. Two, plan, where will you start? Point to that place on the object. Three, practice. Practice drawing the shape in the air first with your finger. Four, draw with your pencil. What you'll need for our project today is your sketchbook, a pencil with an eraser, and if you have it, your drawing cycle sticker. Keep that with you so you can look at it for reference. If you didn't get a sketchbook, that's okay. Any kind of plain paper will do. The other thing you'll need besides your sketchbook and your pencil is a shoe. Could be an ice skate, could be a ski boot, could be a tennis shoe, could even be a slipper. I think I'm going to use my favorite tennis shoe. I'm also going to teach you a new strategy called the three M's. Macro means big. When we've observed the object, we look for those bigger shapes and we first just draw the outline of the object and the biggest, most basic parts of it. Medium is when we look for more details and those kind of medium sized shapes and lines and add those in. Micro means small. So in this last step, you're adding the smallest of details and even some texture and some shading. It's your final step. 3M, macro, medium, and micro. You want to get set up where you can really see your shoe from a nice angle. I think I'd like to draw my shoe from the side, so I'm going to stick something underneath it just to prop it up. There we go. All right, now remember the first step of the drawing cycle is to really observe. So I'm going to take a moment to do a slow look at the shoe. I'm going to notice that it has a rounded end and it has, it's, it's not really that that tall. It's kind of a long, narrow shoe. It's got two laces that I can see. It has a couple of holes. It has an interesting part like that. And one, two, three, four, five holes for laces to come out. It's got some stitches I'm going to want to add at the end. Okay, so I've done some observing and now I need to plan where am I going to start for those macro, those big shapes. I think I want to be First, um, making the outline of the shoe and adding just a few of those bigger macro lines. So I need to make a plan of where I'm going to start. I guess I'll start with the toe of the shoe. And that's going to be right up here where I have room to go around the shoe. And I'm also going to make sure I leave myself room to put the shoelaces down here. So my plan is to start right about here where this dot is and maybe a little bit lower. Thank goodness we have erasers. They are part of our drawing tools, too. Next step in the drawing cycle is to practice. So I'm going to practice this first big macro shape of the outline of the toe of this shoe. I'm going to just draw it in the air first. It kind of goes up, really nice curve around, and then it scoops down to here. Okay, here I go. I'm going to start by kind of whisper sketching lines until I'm sure that I know I have the shape right about how I want it. And then I'll make my line a little darker.
worked on my macro lines, I've gotten the basic shapes, and now I'm gonna move on to those medium details, that next level of detail. I might say, well, I see a line here. Just kind of follows the shape of the shoe. You can sketch it if you like a little first before you make it darker. I see the other side of the inside of the shoe, and I'm not sure you can see that from where you're sitting, but I really think that part is kind of cool. the places where it covers up the shoe. All right, add a few more of those little circles. So now we've got our macro, our big shapes drawn, our medium shapes drawn, and it's time to add those interesting little details. I like all the little stitches that I can see on my shoe, and I also really enjoy shading. So I think I'm gonna do some shading. That's enough for now and I think I've decided not to put in my little details on my shoelaces although that would be kind of fun I'm gonna label this give it a title I'm gonna say my shoe and I like to do a border on my sketchbook pages it just makes it feel finished There's space here for writing if you'd like to write some labels or add a question. I wonder where this shoe was made. Now it's your turn. Find a shoe, set it where you can see it easily, and remember the three M's and the drawing cycle can help you when you're drawing from observation. Have fun. Good job, artists. So this week, you can look around your house and find some other interesting objects to draw. Maybe a set of car keys. And you can label the parts of the car keys and think about what their purposes are. Maybe one of your favorite toys. Or maybe the remote control for your TV set. Or maybe your TV. Or maybe your computer. Or maybe a small pencil sharpener. There are so many possibilities. Artists, if you got a drawing cycle sticker with your sketchbook, you can take the backing off that sticker, you can put it inside your front cover of your drawing sketchbook or on the outside cover and decorate your cover in any way you want. Gunish Jeesh for drawing with me today, and I'll see you next time for our second drawing lesson. Happy drawing! <laughs>